Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to cover briefly about this more locators or some of the more locators that we have not looked at. Okay, I have looked at the CSS and XPath locators and I have explained those in detail in the previous videos. But then if we go to the locators and below strictness, you will see more locators. Let's see what all other locators are. So these are less commonly used locators and you will see other locators guide. Okay, so we'll see more locators and we'll go to the other locators in the documentation and you'll see the first one is CSS locator, right? So CSS and XPath we have covered in very much detail. So if you need or you are not able to tackle the web application that you are automating using the locators that are available by Playwright by default, you can go ahead and use CSS and XPath locators as well, which I have explained and you will be able to easily use those. Okay. And in CSS, you will see you have different matching by text, only visible element, element that contain other elements. So you can go ahead and explore each one of these. I have explained them in very much detail. So if you know CSS selector strategies, then you should be able to figure out them with them easily. And if not, go ahead and watch the video. So you, you know that nth element locator is another strategy. Okay. So you can specify the nth. So for example, there are multiple buttons on the page. Okay. And I want to locate the first one. So I can say locator nth of zero. So this will click on the first button. There are multiple buttons that are getting resolved. Nth of zero, nth of one. That's the first, that's the second button. Nth of second is the third button, right? So based on that, you can go ahead and use nth element locator. Now these locators, you should be only going ahead only if you're not able to tackle the situation with other very commonly used ones. Okay. Then parent element locator is another one. React locator is very, very common, very important. If you have a web application, which is react based go ahead and use the react locators this is experimental okay and the functionality might change in future but mostly even if your application is react application i have personally tried it you can still go ahead and use the playwright locators that are commonly used ones okay and your you will be able to tackle those very easily whatever locator strategies i have covered till now that should be good enough 94 5% of the time to tackle any locator strategies for your application within Playwright. But in case you are specific towards React or Woo, uh, your, your application is based on React or Woo, then go ahead and use the React or Woo locators, right? Then XPath we have already understood and explained okay then a label of form control retargeting right so you you can say see that we recommend locating by label text instead of relying on label to control retargeting right so you'll see the recommendation as well if there is something that is discouraged by playwright okay then legacy text locator by text locator you can do and then by id data test id etc and then chaining locators okay so we have understood about that we can chain different locators and come up with the define or basically the desired locator that we want to use okay so this is some of the this is this section i wanted to cover briefly so you know where to go or there are multiple other possibilities in case you are stuck with something and you are not able to resolve then you can go ahead and figure out the other locator strategies the react ones if your application is react based and go ahead and use it but most of the time you won't be into problem because playwright has such a vast capability of handling the locators or they have so many good and advanced method and strategies that have been implemented to locate the web element that your locators will be really robust and the strategies that they recommend if you're using it it should be good enough for you to automate your application with very ease okay so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next section wherein i'll start with the advanced topics around playwright thank you very much have a nice day